French sardines, holy grail and white whale at the same time. Almost impossible to obtain in America. In fact, only one or two brands actually export to the US at all. And they don't hold a candle to the stuff you can find if you're actually in France. I'm talking sardines in wasabi, sardines with buckwheat, sardines a la tapenade, whatever that is. Can I really call myself an international sardine investigator when my catalog totally lacks the sharp contrast of a French sardine and whiskey cream? But what can a guy do? The only way to get my hands on these cans is if I actually go to France myself. And a guy like me has trouble getting into France and staying off the grid. I need special connections. Connections that are hard to come by. Hey, it's me, Matt. I've got a hot lead on a round trip to France. The smuggler, uh, travel agent, says the window is closing fast. Gotta act now. What do you say? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to sneak into France, avoid detection, and collect as many different weird sardines as possible. As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Good luck. Oh, hey, you guys. Well, check it out. I'm in country, as you can see. Uh, pretty successful mission so far. I already got my sack of French Deans here. I figure, you know, let's try some out while we're here. No harm, no foul. I was able to smuggle in some sticks, so that's good. I don't really know what's up with these Deans because uh, none of the Deans in France have any English on them whatsoever. They don't intend for an Englishman or an American to eat these at all. So definitely a high profile mission here. These just say, I love sardine. That's the only English you get. That's fine. I'll have to do some research uh, when I get back stateside, figure out what these even are. Hey man, hey man, open up the can. Wow. First thing you'll notice, uh, all the French cans, they open from the bottom and, the, and they're all printed on the can. There's none of them that are in boxes that I've seen. So that's fun. It's fun to see a whole different cultural shift there, just in the packaging. Hmm. First impressions, they smell outstanding. They smell like a like a tip-top, high-quality Portuguese or Spanish can. They've got some good density, some good acoustic density. We got a fishy fiver here. Interesting. Skin tears off easy, but I don't see any yet any uh, evidence of scale action, so that's good. Oops. Oh, great! Way to way to muck it up. Phenomenal. They're coming apart a little bit, but to the bite. They still have, um, they're not mushy to the bite. They still got some strength to them. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, this is on par with a premium, uh, Mediterranean brand. Very flavorful spine. Let's get our second guy here. Yeah, these are really good. These are great. There's no downside here. They're firm. They got the tails on, which I like because that gives them a little more length. 
There's no scales. The skin's got a beautiful color. The oil's delicious. French oil, by the way. It's sweeter. It's like a slightly sweeter oil, very slightly. Mmm. The main difference I'm noticing is the spine is crunchier. About twice as crunchy as any Dean I've had yet. Oh yeah. That was great. It's good things. I came a long way to get them. Okay, so maybe I didn't actually go to France, but I did really get a bunch of really interesting French sardines. Almost 30 cans, or maybe more than 30 cans, I don't remember. Anyway, stay tuned, because I'm gonna walk through every single can, one by one, in the next episode. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, do it all. Okay, take it easy. This is a top secret black op.